Hello, Gracie uh, Gole uh, Gambria. My name is Rachel Moyer, and I will be talking to you today about foundation skills at College Cambria. Um, the first thing you'll see is a video, and then I'll run through some details about the course. Um, so, and then we'll go on to some questions and answers. Um, so feel free to send some questions and answers, which you can use the platform for, um, but we'll play the video first. Opportunity awaits you one which will inspire you to achieve more than you did yesterday. More than just outstanding grades, a career, a future. Not just leaders, innovators. You aren't born excellent, you earn it. Be inspired, go beyond innovation and you will succeed. We are Colleg Cambria. So a very small smidgen of an insight into College Cambria in that video. Lots more to see when you arrive. That really was just a small taste. Um, well, foundation skills, what's the course about? Um, the course is about life skills. It's really an opportunity to break down barriers for learners who need to grow in their confidence personally, socially, and academically. Um, it's there to achieve your full potential. Um, what we want to do is enable you to find out what your skills and attributes are and to be able to sell yourself and identify that you do have a place and a focus ready for a career. The core curriculum will help learners develop their confidence, their life and their employability skills and it's basically giving you a focus for a vocational route which you can choose for the following year. Some of the areas that you can go from are very different in different campuses. So just to give you an insight of what we do offer um, on some of our vocational tasters as part of foundation skills. In Deeside and Yale campuses, we offer art, catering, health and social care, child care, construction trades, craft and upcycling, employability skills for those of you who want to progress into the apprenticeship or traineeship markets at the end of the year, engineering, hair and beauty. In Norfolk, for those of you who want to have a little bit more of a land-based um, vocational sector and have a taster in the animal care, equine, horse care, landscaping and land-based studies, that's all done at Norfolk. Now, the qualifications that you're going to be doing on the programme are an OCR Entry 3 certificate, which is built, uh, built up of 13 different units. Those units are dominantly about your life skills, its personal skills and its team building skills. You'll also have the opportunity to do the Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award as well as a Prince's Trust certificate. And alongside that is additional um, agencies that work with the college, like the Can Do Project, where we'll work on community activities, um, understanding and facility, understanding the facilities and what's accessible to you, working with other agencies in and around the area where you live. Um, a lots of enrichment activities, so lots of off-site activities. Um, so the program is a there's a taste of pretty much of everything, but it really is. It's not about just achieving a qualification. It's about you. It's about your personal skills and what you can achieve. We want to find out what your full potential is because trust me, despite you might not feeling confident, there's something in you that is ready to move forward and focus on a future. How you apply for the course is completing the application form online. If you're struggling with this and need help with it, please contact um, Colleague Cambria's phone number, which you'll find on the internet, and speak to somebody in student services who will help you apply and possibly give you a little bit more information that you need. Other things on the course are maths and English. You will be working towards Essential Skills Wales. Um, they are designed really to assess what your current ability is and work on those weaknesses to help you move forward, to enable you to access the courses you need to do for next year for those of you who want to move on a course. And for those of you who want to go into employability or traineeship skills, then you do need those core fundamental life skills like maths and English to move you forward and to gain those apprenticeships. 
The course lasts for about um, a year. So you'll start in September and you'll finish around about June next year. Um, it's three days a week. You will be notified and contacted by the college once you've had your interview. Um, you will be contacted by the college um, with your days of attendance because we, we're running several groups and each tutor um, has a specific group. So you'll have a personal tutor that you're assigned to who will be delivering on your course. You will also get additional learning support from any, anybody who has got additional learning need. We have an additional learning needs team who will support you and assess you with any needs that you've got. Because it's our job to make sure we can remove every barrier possible to help you achieve. You also get assigned a fantastic pastoral coach who is there to remove... Um, any barriers which might be personal because we all have personal things going on in our lives which sometimes consume us and what the pastoral coach can do is they can help you focus and help you remove those barriers or if there's something with the course you're struggling with and you can't approach your tutor for whatever reason or you need something more that pastoral coach is there to give you that little bit extra support that you need so a full body of people will be there to help you through this course um Progressions after the course, I've already mentioned a few. Um, well, hopefully, if you're not focused at this present moment in time, please don't panic. That's our job to help you get focused. It's, it's for you to get an overwhelm, an over, overall feeling of the college um, and decide what your career path is by possibly having a few little tasters. And then when you're ready and when you're focused, you can make a decision as to what your vocational route or course is next year. If that's not for you, there are other options like apprenticeships, like employment, and also traineeships as well. So um, you can access those and get some more information about those as well during this course. And you can even meet the teams. We'll introduce you to them and we'll get you ready for that. Um, Community-based programmes, there are huge things as well. Um, so overall, foundation skills, whilst it's a life and living skills course, foundation skills is your foundation. It's your future. It's what you make of it. But we're there to guide you and put you on the right path to make you focused, employable, and everything you need to be to get where you want to be in life. That's what our job is, your job is to be open to the challenges um, and attend the college. And we can't wait for you to start. Now, I know there might be some questions and answers coming up. I've already got some um, that are coming up. So please, again, those of you who are streaming now, you are on a social platform, you can type your questions in and they'll come up. So um, some questions will come up on the screen. I have got some questions already, which I'll run through with you. Um, the very basic one that everybody is asking, I might not be able to answer fully, is what's happening with COVID-19. Well, that's like saying, how long is the piece of string? Um, things might change in September. Things are changing every single day. Foundation skills, and like most of the college, we've written a digital program. That digital program can be delivered in the college and it can be delivered remotely with a huge amount of support. And just like you're seeing me now on this screen, you'll see our ugly mushes every single day on a screen like this that you'll be invited to where we can teach you in your own home if it is needed. Um, and in relation to resources, we'll address that as and when it happens. But right now, fingers crossed, we're all good to go for September. So looking at other questions such as EMA. Now, EMA is an educational maintenance allowance. That's what the E, the M and the A stand for. And not everybody's um, able to receive it because it's what's known as means tested. And what that means is it depends on how much your parents or guardians are earning. Um, if they're below a certain category, you will be entitled to a £30 a week educational maintenance allowance. Um, and my advice is you do need to speak to student services about getting the application form for that. And obviously your parents will need to be involved in filling in the forms. But the sooner you can do that and you know you're on the course, get that out of the way. And that's another another tick box done. Travel into locations. Um, obviously, how will you receive your bus pass? 
depending on where you live, you will be using Ariba buses and college buses. Um, now, again, you are only eligible to receive a bus pass if you live within a pass to three miles away from the college. For those of you who have to travel to Northup, you would get an automatic bus that would take you um, to the relevant colleges from the college where you're at. So that's something you need to think about. Um, hi, Sarah Davis. Thank you for your question. Do you have the opportunity to go on work experience? Right now, Sarah, the difficulty we've got is COVID. Um, we would like to think that we can give you a taste of doing community action. Work experience, actually, where you might go for a week, um, it's something we can discuss and build into specific programmes. But I think doing the, the tasters will be what we can offer at this present moment in time. Sarah, if you're looking for something like a work experience program and tasters within a work experience, my advice is to also get some advice from the traineeship team. The traineeship team run a work-based learning program, but again, they are going to have the same restrictions as we would have in this instance, uh, and that is working with employers under these current COVID restrictions. So it's something for you to think about um but the community action module which you'll do as part of this program will give you some um some experience depending on what your vocational area is is whether they will be taking work experience so please bear that in mind thank you for your question um i haven't heard about my interview does this mean i'm not being accepted on the course no that doesn't mean that at all um, if you haven't heard um, of anybody yet, remember staff are also in lockdown. Um, I've got a 14 year old son who is also being homeschooled. Um, so difficult time for everybody at the moment working from home. And obviously we're, we're trying to keep up with it, but a, a tutor will contact you as soon as they see your application. You will be contacted and you will have a phone interview. Um, so please don't worry. What support is available at the college? Obviously, I've already talked about pastoral and additional learning need, um, but there are also lots of other support that you can access, um, such as um, the Welsh Government Learning Grant. There is Financial Contingency Fund for those who might need PPE. PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. So for those of you who maybe going into engineering, going into equine, where you need equipment or you need clothing, helmet, um, and you're on, your parents are on a low income, bear in mind that there, are a, there is a financial contingency fund that, fund that you may be able to apply to. That will again involve your parents um, because obviously the, the income would have to be disclosed in order to be eligible for that fund to help you with those kinds of things. Um, we have student services, a fantastic team in the college who can help you with pretty much any question you've got if we can't answer it. You also have a track team. Um, the track team there are an additional team um, for those who are really struggling and where we've gone beyond pastoral and additional learning needs. And they're there for that extra, extra support for you to rely on. We have counselling support at the college and also chaplaincy as well. So we also know that people will be coming back feeling very nervous. You know, you've not been in education. We've on, been on lockdown since March. Anybody who's needing that extra support, feeling anxious, I've felt it myself even today coming on here. They are all natural emotions. Please use the resources and the facilities at the college, which will be there to help you get you through that first stepping stone of coming through those gates it's a very overwhelming experience at the best of times never mind coming out of a situation that we've been in recently so just know that the support teams are there for you um one of the questions here is i don't have the right gcses we know gcses have been a big issue this year because most of you have not been able to sit those exams there is no entry requirements here onto this particular program however if your predicted grades are that you are really an A grade student, a B grade student, really you should be looking to achieve or aim a little bit higher. Foundation skills is really designed as an entry level course. Um, if you haven't done so well academically or you're still feeling issues with confidence, self-esteem, 
um, general lack of focus, this is the course for you. Those of you that are focused, I'll come back to that question in a second, Alice. I've seen you on the screen, thank you. Um, is there help with maths and English GCSE? Um, you will be doing Essential Skills Wales, okay, Alice? Um, so if you wanted to revisit your GCSE, it would be a separate course that you would have to go into in the evening. We don't run the GCSE itself alongside the Foundation Skills course. The Foundation Skills course is a further education course. GCSE Maths and English are running in the college if it's something you want to talk to somebody about. Again, contact student services and speak to them about that. It's very important to you then, please, my advice is if the GCSE route is for you, please, please follow that inquiry up. Um, but in relation to your Maths and English, um, you will be doing the Essential Skills Wales here. Your GCSEs, if you don't have GCSEs or you've got low GCSEs, you don't need them to come on this course. We're going to welcome you anyway. Um, and the, the good thing about this course is the progression route is you can go on a higher level. It's very difficult when you haven't got GCSEs and you can't go on the vocational course that you want. However, um, this course will automatically allow you to progress onto that higher level course. So a level one in, in hairdressing, a level one in engineering, uh, whatever the level is. So you, because you're coming on entry, you'll automatically transition into a level one next year, making sure that you do complete this year and attend. Um, can I change my course if I've changed my mind? Yes, you can. You can. Don't think that this is um, this is something. Oh God, you've made the wrong decision. We have we have a couple of months to play around with. So this is your life at the end of the day, and this is your future. Um, and if you're not happy on the course that you've you've gone on, please speak to student services and your pastoral coach. Your pastoral coach will be your key, um, and they'll help you get on the right course for you. So please don't panic if you've made the wrong decision. You can swap any time and we will make sure that at some point within the first few weeks, if you're not happy, we'll move you. Um, and we certainly don't take it personally. As I say, this is your life and your future. Um, is the support with job applications? Yes, we have a job shop, um, fantastic job shop. So any apprenticeships or jobs that we have, um, we actually put on boards in the college and there's a job shop which is actually in the college itself. So we're aware of a lot of the vacancies in the area because obviously they're looking for school leavers or they're looking for people who want to apply and even like little part-time jobs. I remember last year I had, not last year, the year before, I had a learner who I helped get into Morrison's, a little part-time Christmas job. And that learner now is working full-time at Morrison's um, and doing exceptionally well and also doing a retail qualification with the, the college as well. So, um, yeah, we can help you even find part time work and help you apply for jobs. Will there be a new student day? Um, at the moment, we do them every year, but at the moment we can't offer anything. Again, the word, the buzzword, the COVID-19, we can't offer a student day, but please look out for the virtual open days. Um, anybody who needs any further information, please don't hesitate to contact College Cambria Student Services. Um, speak to people. If you've got questions, don't be frightened to lift up the phone. You know, if, if you're not confident in doing it, ask a friend or ask a, um, a member of your family to do it. Um, at the end of the day, we want you to come to the college so that you can move forward. It's been a hard enough year for you lot, and I think what we need to do is get you back on that platform of learning and get you back on some sort of a focus for your career, really. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you, everybody who has asked questions. Um, thank you for joining this podcast, this live stream. Very first live stream I've ever done. A bit nerve wracking, I'm not going to lie. Um, and my mother always says I've got a face for radio, not for television. Um, so thank you very much. Diolch and Valren have a lovely summer and we'll see you in September.